Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KidBadger.com with my two assistants. Who are you guys? Jada, Ira. Jada and Ira. And today we are revisiting a aspect of our stealth pack by attack packs. Lots of times I end up in the backcountry backpacking with these two guys. And if one of you guys gets hurt, what do you think we should do? Should I just leave you there? No! Okay, I won't leave you there after all. So I need to figure out how to get you guys out, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, maybe in a different vein, what if I'm somewhere and some sort of random large piece of something I need to move, whether that be a person in these guys' case, even if they were bigger, or maybe say an elk quarter or something like that. The versatility of this pack is really cool. Previously, I talked about the go bag lid, which is the top portion of all their packs by attack packs and it can be used as a little impromptu day pack but now i'm going to show you another use for it in conjunction with the pack frame so big picture we're going to end up taking this go bag lid off and we're going to end up reversing it and creating a shelf which we can put things in people whatever it may be in doing so you're going to need other fast tech buckles some of these are sewn on and the way this is going to work is either you take ones off that you can take off on different places. I just took these guys off. But what I found easier is to go ahead and pick up a spare set of these guys. They're for a set less than two bucks, I think. Weigh almost nothing. Throw them in the pack if you need them. Otherwise, you can obviously salvage enough buckles off this to still make this work. But I'm going to go ahead and take this now that I've reversed it and clip these guys into the bottom and at this point i've made a shelf for myself that i can go ahead and clip these up top when i put whatever load i want in here if this guy ends up getting injured or if i have a giant elk cord or something like that what i'm going to do with this little platform is essentially make a little seat go ahead and have a seat there for me hand me that other strap Bring this guy up here. Snap it in right there. And then, depending, I can use one of these side buckles right here and snap you or something else in right here. So, does this work? Yes, it does. <laughs> now, mind you, this isn't how I want to carry something. Ideally, I mean, if you have to carry someone, you have to carry someone. Ideally, if you're carrying like an elk quarter or an inanimate object, you would cinch it up higher and use those cross straps, keep it cinched in really tight and really lock down the load to carry whatever it is you needed to carry. So does this work with two boys? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. This is just one more use for the stealth pack by attack packs and their go bag lid. It's pretty cool. Obviously it's gonna work better with an inanimate object, something that's not gonna squirm around and move on you. But you just throw it on there, make the shelf, use the uh, cross straps, be able to strap it down really good and carry it wherever it needs to. It basically allows you to carry something beyond just the internal, the internal volume of this pack, strap it on there and get it to where it needs to go. At any rate, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to see you next time. What they said.